bunch of new friends adventure that never ends let's write a brand new story this is a new beginning stand tall and let your heart sing let's have some fun in the sunshine Tales of Tonorio, let's go, let's go! Uh, well, this is awkward. I guess I'll get started for the video then, alright? Hello everyone, and today, we are back for another video, and we will be making a Tales of Tonorio game review. Tales of Tonorio released on Roblox just a few days ago, and is one of the most hyped up games in all of Roblox, and it was met with mixed opinions. There are a lot of good aspects about the game, and there is a lot of stuff that needs to get improved. We will be ranking Tales of Tonorio into three different categories, gameplay, presentation, and polish. We will rank each category out of 10 and combine the score together at the end. So let's head right into the video. Overall, Tales of Tenario's gameplay is very good. The game plays like a typical creature capturing game on Roblox. You run around in the grass, catch Tenorians, and battle other NPCs, and it works really well. The battle UI is actually very easy to learn, which is really good for newer players. Tano stations are also everywhere, making healing your Tenorians really easy. And some of the routes themselves look amazing, like Fable Falls. That route looks absolutely beautiful. The routes themselves are actually very bite-sized and very small, but I overall like this as it focuses more on Tales of Tenorio's story, and they make the cities themselves look really nice. Overall, the gameplay is actually pretty good, but some of the UIs and some of the Tenorian's models themselves do hold the gameplay back. The battle UI, while being very easy to learn, is very sluggish, and this makes battles last longer than they need to be, and the menu UI is very overcomplicated for newer players. The Tenorian's models themselves looks pretty good, but some of the models do look off. There aren't any terrible designs in the game, but there aren't any amazing designs neither. It's really balanced. Catching the Tenorians itself is also pretty simple. You get the Tenorian down to low health, and you throw a Tano can to catch them. It's pretty simple. I did notice that it was a little harder to catch the Tenorians in this game, but that doesn't drag down the gameplay. You have 50 PC boxes to store your Tenorians, just like in Doodle World. But this system actually really sucks in Tales of Tenorio. You can't actually look at the Tenorian's traits or base stats on this unless you have them in your party, which is really annoying. The worst part about Tales of Tenorio gameplay is the exploration between the routes. While the routes themselves look really good, there's nothing to do in those routes other than the main plot. There are no chests to find, no buildings to open, and no other side quests to play within the main story. Personally, I hope Tales of Tenorio adds chests to the routes for the future to award the players to actually explore through the routes. That would be awesome. Overall, Tales of Tenorio's gameplay is actually pretty good, but it does have a few things that hold it back. And overall, I will rank the gameplay a 6 out of 10. The presentation is by far the best part about Tales of Tenorio. Like I said in the gameplay segment, the routes themselves look beautiful. The graphics for the game look amazing. And this game also has voice acting. Yes, actual voice acting. And the voice acting is a surprising highlight to the game. Yes, some of the voice acting isn't great, but you can tell that some of the voice actors did a very good job in their role. The best examples are Kyra, Stefan, and Miss Moore. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I thought the voice acting was actually really good, and I decided to keep the voice acting on during my playthrough. The Tales of Tenorio story is also really good as well. It had lots of depth, and it got me really invested into the game. Despite that, though, I don't like that the story added lore to the game before the first stadium. I usually like lore to a game, but Tales of Tenorio adds lore before you can really feel invested within the game. So its lore moments just don't click with you as hard, unlike in other games like Lubian Legacy, who does its lore stuff after the fourth battle theater. A lot later in the game, this makes Lumian Legacy's story add a lot more flair compared to Tales of Tenorio's story. 
But then I sp despite that flaw, I really like Tales of Tenorio's story. The best part about Tales of Tenorio has to be, of course, the music. Oh man, Tales of Tenorio has by far the best music out of any creature capturing game on the market. And it isn't even close. The theme song on the opening gives me goosebumps every time I open the game. And it gives me a smile on my face every time I hear it. And the battle music and route music sounds really nice as well. No flaws with the music whatsoever. Even little things like the presentation are done well. Like every time you enter a battle, a versus screen appears, and this adds a lot more impact to every battle, which is awesome. The only flaw with the presentation is that some of the shop UIs don't look nice, but other than that, the presentation is near perfect. 9 out of 10 for the Tales of Tenario presentation. If I added the scores from the gameplay to the presentation, Tales of Tenorio would be given a 7.5 out of 10, which would make it a good game on Roblox. But unfortunately, this game is really buggy. There is almost no polish within this game. The bugs happen really often. Some of the bugs I can live with, like the Tenorians on my shoulder during a cutscene, the water not loading in on a route, and people teleporting randomly, I can deal with that. But there are some bugs that completely breaks the game. The worst bugs are the ones that can softlock you. Sometimes when you walk up to a cutscene, you will get stuck and the cutscene doesn't start. The only way to escape from it is to leave the game and rejoin. There is also a mounting glitch where if you mount inside of a building, you glitch through the floor and you are softlocked unless you leave the game and rejoin. These bugs are unacceptable and can completely kill a player's experience within a game. There are some other bugs within the game as well, but if I explain all of the bugs, this video will be 30 minutes long, and I don't want the video to be that long. The only positive with the polish is that at least the cutscenes themselves flow well, and you can't lose your progress on your Tenorians, which that's something. I also got kicked out of a battles a couple times, but... This is due to a server restart, and it wasn't necessarily the game's fault. It was due to a server restart. So I won't count that in the polish segment. This lack of polish completely kills the game. And it really sucks because I can see the potential with Tales of Ternario. I see the hard-working dev team that wants to make the best game possible. And I can see Tales of Ternario's massive potential. But if the community sees Tales of Ternario as a buggy experience... It will not be able to compete with the other creature capturing games on Roblox, like Doodle World and Lumion Legacy. Unfortunately, I will be given the score on the Polish se segment a 2 out of 10. The scores for Tales of Tenorio is 5.7 out of 10. Which is really upsetting because I actually really like Tales of Tenorio, and if it wasn't for the game breaking bugs... This game would be a 7.5 out of 10. I know this is a pretty low score for Tales of Tenorio, but the Tales of Tenorio dev team could definitely recover from this. I will even give them my own ideas on how they can improve their game for the next few updates. The first thing I would give them is to fix all the game breaking bugs. The glitching out of the map and getting soft locked is one of the worst experiences that ever happen within a game, and they need to be the first things to be addressed. I would then release a quality of life update that helps with the Tales of Tenorio's menu UI. This will speed up the battles, and it will also add the ability to see your Tenorian stats while in the PC boxes. These extra quality of life features will make the game more fun. And finally, that would be when I would release the third gem to the game. Once the game is fixed up, this will give Tales of Tenorio a better foundation to release this third gem. It will make the players return to the third gem update. Hopefully the Tale, a Tales of Tenorio dev developer sees this so they can see what my thought is. And of course, I never developed the game before. And developing a creature capturing game on Roblox is extremely hard. But with my input, maybe this roadmap can give Tales of Tenorio the best chances of fixing up their game. And who knows? They might already be doing that right now. For anyone watching this video, please don't send any destructive criticism to the Tales of Tenorio developers. As they are working their butts off making this game for us you could send them constructive criticism that could help the game like saying that the bugs hurt the progression of the game or the ui slows down the game too much but sending hate to the developers makes this worse for everyone 
So for anyone who doesn't enjoy Tales of Tenario, just don't play the game. And let the rest of the creature capturing community enjoy the game. And that is my Tales of Tenario review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are some things about Tales of Tenario that I missed in this video, please tell me in the comments below. That's the end of the video, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!